Hello, today I'm going to make a never-ending card. You can get everything you need to make this wall display from plazoom.com. This card can be folded and turned to show lots of different faces and it's a really fun way of keeping lots of facts nearby you in a lesson. You need four pieces of card that are measured 10 centimetres by 20 centimetres. With each piece of card, you need to measure in five centimetres from each of the short ends and draw a line down to divide the card into three. Two rectangles and a square in the middle. You need to score along these lines. When you've scored your card, fold the ends in along the lines to the middle and then open them out and fold them in the other direction so the card becomes really bendy. The best way to make this card is with four different coloured pieces of card because then you can see exactly what you're doing. Score and fold them in exactly the same way and then glue them together. Put two pieces of card next to each other on a flat surface and make sure that the edges are lined up and it looks like a square. Take some glue and just put glue in the bottom corners of that square. Take a third piece of card and lay it down in the opposite direction over the first two. So it forms almost like a U shape. Make sure everything is still lined up because that will make the most successful card. And then glue the fourth piece of card on top to make another square. Give the glue a bit of time to dry before you start folding and unfolding your card. Once you've made your card, you can add anything you like to each face. You can flick through the card and easily find the answer that you want. So you could use number bonds, topic facts, editing prompts, anything else. I want to practice my times table, so I'm going to add some tricky times table facts to this never-ending card. Simply cut your facts out from our handy sheets, add some glue and stick them to the square parts of your never-ending card. The pieces at the top and the bottom can be used for you to add your own extra notes as you think of things to remember. The never-ending card is a great way to practice making accurate folds and measurements. The more care that you take over your folds, the better the card will work. And you can use this technique to make decorative cards for people's birthdays or just to jazz up your homework. On our website plazoom.com, we've made templates that you can download. You can use these to make your never-ending card into a resource to support your writing. This includes prompts for spellings, good word choices, prefixes and punctuation. You can also use your never-ending card as a reminder of the times table as we've got templates for each times table from 2 to 12.